Hello and welcome back to Tales of Lumen. Today we're talking about the VGX, formerly known as the Video Game Awards. I'm not sure why they renamed it, but what the heck ever. It's now the VGX. They had a three to four hour live stream yesterday. And I think the general consensus around the internet is just that it was a bit of a flop. I mean, some of the stuff shown there was amazing. It's great that we got to see who won the awards and all that other stuff. Some of the acceptance speeches were great, but the show itself was just, and I'm saying apparently because I didn't watch the entire thing from start to finish. I did a big catch-up session this morning, but the show itself was apparently a little cringeworthy. They tried to make it seem too much like MTV or something. One of the hosts, not Jeff Knightley, the other guy, don't even know who he was, was seemingly rude, obnoxious and straight up disrespectful in many ways. But then I saw this cringe reel this morning of a bunch of his worst moments put together. And it seems like he was told to say most of that stuff. It seems like most of the jokes or jabs were on the teleprompter. So I'm not really sure that dude is to blame. You can't blame him for ruining the show. I think it's just uh, the organizing party on the whole that would be to blame. But Regardless of that, there was a bunch of cool stuff shown off, and that's what I want to talk about. I've got a website open here, I don't even know which one it is, with a whole bunch of stuff. I just googled it. Recap of the VGX. So, game of the year. It went to Grand Theft Auto V, no big surprise there. Best action adventure game went to Assassin's Creed IV Black Flag, and Assassin's Creed IV won it over Grand Theft Auto, Last of Us and Tomb Raider. That's a little bit unexpected. Again, I thought that Grand Theft Auto V would just clean up completely. Best RPG, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I've heard only good things about that. I absolutely wish I could pick it up at some point to give it a try. It won against Pokemon X and Y, which is kind of impressive. Best DLC goes to Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon amazing although mass effect 3 citadel is there and i honestly think that that was probably the most likely to give it a good run anyway best nintendo game was super mario 3d world also not really a big surprise best soundtrack grand theft auto although i liked the bioshock infinite one i do think the grand theft auto soundtrack was amazing studio of the year naughty dog best sports game NBA 2014. I don't even know. Best fighting game, Injustice. It went against Killer Instinct, Tekken Revolution, and Dive Kick. So, I suppose there wasn't that much competition. Killer Instinct literally just released, didn't it? I don't know. Best Xbox game, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. That's good. It's great to see that win above Bioshock Infinite, GTA, and Tomb Raider. Best voice actor. Troy Baker as Joel from The Last of Us. It's funny because he's twice here. He's Troy Baker as Joel and Troy Baker as Booker DeWitt. He's probably my favorite voice actor in gaming at the moment. The dude's great. Well deserved. Best shooter, Bioshock Infinite. I don't know if I would have given that the best shooter award because as a shooter it wasn't that great, but if they had taken all of it into account, story, Gameplay, characters, sound, visuals, then yes. But it was against Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Metro Last Light. So, I suppose against those, you could say it was the best. Battlefield 4 just had so many issues. Call of Duty Ghosts is Call of Duty. And Metro Last Light, it wasn't anything super special. I feel like Metro 2033 was more special than Last Light. Last Light was just more of the same. Best indie game, Gone Home. This one against Kentucky Route Zero, Papers, Please, and The Stanley Parable. Probably well deserved. I have quite honestly not played any of those. Not a single one of them. I tested Gone Home out a little bit. I played about five minutes of it. But that's it. Best driving game, Forza 5. I'm, again, not surprised that one against Need for Speed Rivals. <laughs> That's just... I don't think Need for Speed Rivals is going to win anything, ever. Best PlayStation game, The Last of Us. That's good. It's good to see that win there. Handheld, 
is A Link Between Worlds, Legend of Zelda. It had some tough competition in the form of Animal Crossing and Pokemon X and Y. So I guess that's a surprise. I don't know. Best Voice Actress. Ashley Johnson as Ellie from The Last of Us. I thought that Courtney Draper as Elizabeth would have won that. And maybe even should have won that. But there's also Camilla Luddington as Laura Croft and Ellen Page as Jodie Holmes. I think Ellen Page probably did a good job, but I didn't see much of Beyond Two Souls, so I don't know. Character of the Year, the Latesse Twins. I like how they put them as one character, because technically they are. There you go. They were up against Laura Croft, Trevor Phillips, and Nai and Nya. I don't know who the heck those are, but whatever. So then, those are the awards out of the way. The trailers and stuff shown off. There was a South Park Stick of Truth trailer that was just silly. It was all about farting. It was like a minute and a half long of just Cartman teaching another little guy to fart. Use some other fart attack. <laughs> it was silly. I don't know what to make of that game right now. Then Nintendo showed the new Donkey Kong Wolf and... It looks fun. It looks straight up fun. I would love to play that just like I'd love to play Super Mario World and all the other stuff on the Wii U. If only I had a Wii U. I honestly think that the Wii U is an absolutely amazing console. Nintendo just don't know what to do with it. They have an opportunity here. They do. Anyway. Dying Light. There was a gameplay demo showed off of that. And the first thing... Literally the first thing that I saw was that the FPS was terrible. They bragging about 1080p on PS4. And it was running on PS4. But the FPS must have been between 20 and 30 for the most part. And I just didn't like that. It put me off completely. So I'm still excited for Dying Light. I really am. But I'd like to see that on PC. Just saying. Thief 4 was shown off. They showed some gameplay off, which looked pretty good. It looks like they slowly but surely making this into a proper Thief game. I like the speed involved. And most hardcore Thief fans would say, well, speed isn't supposed to be a big part of it. But I think that they've got a niche with the gameplay there. And I think it's going to work. I think slowly but surely they removing the stuff that shouldn't be there, adding stuff that should be there, making it slightly more grim and gritty and hardcore. And the fans will come around. I think they're doing a good job. The story trailer of it was kind of interesting. I didn't expect it. There was some other witchcraft in there. There was a girl that Garrett seemed attached to. I liked it. I liked that a lot. And I'm very keen for that. This is high up on my list of anticipated titles. But it's also high up on my list of possible failures. So we'll see. Witcher 3. Oh my goodness. So good. It looked amazingly good. The engine that they use in just seems stunning. I'd see, it looks like a beast, okay? And the fact that they're putting that game on PC makes me all sorts of happy. It really does. So The Witcher 3 looked good. I wasn't even paying attention to the story aspects of the trailer. I was just looking at the big wide open world that they were showing off, the combat, and everything else. It looked great. Check that trailer out if you've got a moment. Quantum Break Gameplay. That's next on the list here. And I was just not impressed by it. I don't know what to think of it. I mean, Max Payne 3 was good. It was kind of good. And the other game that they made, it's Remedy. What's the other one that they made? I can't remember. But they've got some decent games. Oh, Alan Wake. That's it. Alan Wake... And Max Payne were both good games, but that's not going to be enough to convince me to like or to pick up Quantum Break when it comes out. So far, the idea looks cool. I like the whole time travel, break in time thing, but they didn't show off enough of the actual gameplay to, again, convince me. I don't know. Then they showed off the Division's Snowdrop engine, which was super impressive. It looks good, but that's about all that I can say about it. They showed the engine off. It was pretty. It performed well. But that's it. If it comes to PC, hooray. If not, 
Eh. Telltale Games. Telltale Games put on a show, I'll tell you that. They may well be stretching themselves a little thin because they announced that they are doing a Game of Thrones game and a Borderlands game. They didn't show any of the Game of Thrones game off. They just had an announcement trailer. They did, however, show a bit of the Borderlands game. And you've got to keep in mind that Telltale is currently working on Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us along with those two now. I don't know how big their studio is at the moment, but that's crazy. Maybe they just got so good at pumping these out rapidly that it's nothing for them. I don't know. I'm more excited for Borderlands from Telltale. I think they can do more with it. They can be more creative with it. And the trailer itself just looked great. It did. There was no gameplay or anything, but it was fun and funny. And Handsome Jack was in there. What more do you want? The characters look beautiful as well. The animation style, great. I don't know about Game of Thrones. I mean, if it's going to be set in the same world, in the world of Westeros, or at least in the same regions, or if it's going to involve the same characters, then it'll be fun to be like, hey, I know that person, or hey, there's that busy happening while I'm busy with this, because hopefully they're going to follow a different story, and it's not going to be the exact same thing that we watched in the series. If so, it could be fun because I want to see more of that world. I want to experience more of it. But I'm still more excited for the Borderlands thing. And I'm going to save the best for last. So I'm actually skipping over one here. Next is Titanfall. They showed off two new Titans. A strong one and a fast one. Nothing much else. I saw some gameplay in there and it reminded me a whole lot of Hawken. Which is not great. I like Hawken. I do. But... It didn't depress me quite as much as the initial announcement trailers and gameplay and stuff did. I much prefer the look of the infantry, first person shooter style combat, more so than the mech combat. But I do like the look of Titanfall. I do. And it's coming to PC, so that's great. Then, Elijah Wood is the voice of the boy in the Double Fine Adventure game, The Broken Age, I think it's called. They had a nice trailer to show that off. Elijah Wood is cool. I also think that based on the little piece of voice acting they showed, he's going to do a good job. The dude knows what he's doing with voice acting, it seems. So hey, there you go. Elijah Wood. Finally, Tomb Raider's Definitive Edition. <laughs> that was announced. It's, it's nothing. I'm not even going to bother saying anything about that. Then the one that I was saving, the highlight for many is... A new game that no one saw coming called No Man's Sky. This is from the guys that made Joe Danger. And that doesn't really say anything. The trailer itself, however, that they showed off says a whole lot. So, it's a open world procedurally generated, fully realized space planetary adventure game of sorts. From the first person perspective. It's weird. This is the one trailer of everything that was shown off that you should watch. And it looks good. Really, 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 really good. Maybe even a little bit too good to be true. Because this is coming from a studio of developers that consists of four people. Now in the trailer they showed a presumably person swimming around underwater. Looking at the wildlife under the ocean, like a shark and a fishy, some kelp, a little reef. Then, walking out onto a beach, seeing this beautiful scenery in front of them, mountains off in the distance, wide ocean on the one side, beautiful, beautiful. Then they approach a ship, there come these jets overhead or some spaceship type things that fly overhead, and your character gets into its own spaceship, and then just beelines it straight out of the atmosphere into space. Seamless transition. Seamless. Then, suddenly, there's a dogfight happening in space. You're shooting through asteroids, floating around, and flying through the holes that you just shot in them. It looks good. The trailer looked good. Man. Now, in the interview that they had after this, they actually said that the world 
is fully realized in that everything you can see you can interact with so if you see a mountain off in the distance you can go to it and climb it if you see a planet up in the sky you can get in that little spaceship fly up there land on that planet and explore it fully completely that again sounds too good to be true but the trailer showed it off the trailer showed a whole lot of good stuff off there were flashes of all sorts of other scenes that were playing out and i gotta say that that would probably be my highlight of the show as i said it is probably for many others it just looks so good really check it out no man's sky i want to know a lot more about that and i would absolutely love to know when that beta is starting up because i want to get in there I want to it's probably going to be if they can realize this vision of theirs the same kind of game or it's gonna appeal to the same audience as star citizen but we'll see star citizen has 30 million dollars worth of backing behind it and this game no man's sky has four people making it but after that trailer i am 100 percent sure they're gonna get a lot of interest and if they do start something like a Kickstarter up, it will have great success. It looks good. Please, please have a look at that trailer. No Man's Sky. It is amazing. But that's it. I'm done. I had a good time reading about all this news. The chances are I'll include some of it in my next Newsman episode. But I wanted to just talk about it. Give you guys my impressions and thoughts on some of the stuff that was shown off and revealed. And there you go. I think I've done it. You must let me know what you enjoyed the most. What was your highlight from the show? I might have missed a few things here or there. I don't know. But they would probably end up being smaller things that don't really matter. I like the look of a lot of the stuff. Highlights, again, No Man's Sky probably at the top. I like the fact that Telltale's making a couple of new games. Thief looks kind of good. Dying Light, eh, it's okay. Destiny, I didn't even mention because the trailer that they shown off... It was very standard. There was nothing super special in it. But I'm still excited for that. And a couple of other things. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're most excited about. And I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. And I hope you enjoyed the VGX. Hope that guy that was rude and annoying didn't put you off it. So again, let me know. Check back here tomorrow for another video. Give this one a like. Share it. And do all that other good stuff. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Because I'm going to be talking about all sorts of stuff every day. Happy that.